2024, the top player in the class, Dylan Rayola, just took a visit out to USC. So what's the latest with his recruitment coming off that trip to L.A.? Well, I think USC continues to be one of the top contenders for Dylan Rayola, who said his visit was awesome, got a chance to spend a lot of time around Lincoln Riley. And we know that Lincoln Riley is such an involved head coach recruiter, particularly when it comes to quarterbacks. And he only offers one or two a cycle because that's pretty much all it takes when Lincoln Riley offers. Generally, a young man jumps on it. And uh, Dylan Rayola is strongly considering USC because of his track record of developing Heisman Trophy winners and, and, and the first pick in the NFL draft. And then those guys going on to be successful in the NFL. But it was a big visit for his mom, too. You know, he had been to USC before. His dad had been to USC before. But getting an opportunity to get his mom on campus, she loved it. They got a chance to hang out in the Coliseum, spend time around the coaching staff. And so mom uh, is also two thumbs up on USC right now. But there's some other major contenders in this recruitment for Dylan Rayola. Nebraska, of course, that's where his dad played. He was an All-American, a Remington Award winner. His number is retired inside Memorial Stadium. Matt Rule was in there two weeks ago. Brought a Nebraska boombox with them, I believe. And then uh, nine assistant coaches were inside uh, uh, Chandler High last Friday, uh, leaving a big impression on Dylan, who's been able to communicate with Matt Rule and Coach Satterfield over the phone. He's going to get back to Nebraska for a recruiting visit in March. His uncle's obviously the offensive line coach. And, and they're excited about the trajectory of Nebraska's program. And his dad said, look, if Matt Rule can turn Temple into a conference champion and can take Baylor from the gutter of yeah. college football and turn them into a conference champion. He talked about the resources Nebraska has more than those programs for their football program. So they're excited about the trajectory of Nebraska football under Matt Rule. And if Dylan Rayola goes to play there, all of a sudden you got yourself a franchise quarterback, maybe the top player in the country coming in there to supplement what's a, a sneaky good 2023 class. But I like Georgia right now. Let's get to the punchline. <laughs> I think Georgia's okay, the team to beat place. going into the next wave of visits for him. Okay. You know, I, I think he got a chance to watch him play in the national championship. His sister plays volleyball at TCU, so I'm sure she had a lot of fun pregame <laughs> enjoying that national championship atmosphere mm -hmm. out there at SoFi. But uh, her, her brother was enjoying watching Georgia's offense and Stetson Bennett and, and Coach mm -hmm. Todd Monken's scheme in that ball game. And Georgia was the original favorite for Dylan Rayola. We know him now as the number one player in the country. Before he had a ranking, Georgia Georgia was the first program to target him. They were way ahead of the curve for Dylan Rayola. Got him to Athens several times. Uh, obviously, things happen in recruiting. They ebb and flow. Ohio State ultimately ended up becoming the favorite, landing his commitment, but now he's back on the market. I think Georgia's the tone setter. Nebraska's in a sneaky good position. USC's a threat. And then Oregon's another program that I would imagine will get a visit before he decides what his next move is. I want him at Nebraska. Nebraska might have the 10th the coach. The yeah. 10th coach here. <laughs> They might have the fastest recruiting class in, in all of 2023, but Steve, number one player to the number four player, David Stone, defensive lineman out of IMG Academy. I call this guy someone that can dent protection, get after the quarterback. Oklahoma has been the school he has talked about at length through the process. He's from Oklahoma, close to the Sooners, but he was just at Michigan State. Mel Tucker was just on the show. I think they've done an excellent job recruiting him. Where do you stack the Spartans and, and handicap this race for us? Well, if Michigan State's not at the top, they're near the top. He's been there two weekends in a row, uh, had a fabulous time both times, brought his family the second time, loves Mel Tucker, loves the staff, feels good about his potential in East Lansing, but obviously there are a lot of other suitors. Miami, Texas A&M had visits coming up. Oklahoma's been a mainstay. He's got a top 10, but Michigan State within that top 10 has got to be one or two, I would think, right now, and we'll see if they can maintain that momentum for the rest of the cycle. <laughs>